straight up, man. And I'm going to give you some examples. That's why I'm going to shift. And I know that once you understand front kick, front punch, back kick, front punch, it doesn't make any difference. What I want is the lead front kick again. Up to the groin, boom, right? And move back out. Yeah, or bang, whatever, or both hands come down. Boom, fine. Then freeze frame. Boom, fire the hand. Good. Okay? Remember, if you kicked, touch down, and punch, that's one and two, right? Shoulders, we'll get it. One and two. You hit on what? And. So you fake that thing, and your body weight, yeah, is continually driving forward to hit with that. See? So that's what I say, you're not leaning back. The first one has no intention of landing. It's, it's literally like just going, yeah, bam. That's it. That's why I said the idea is there, the term is sometimes you use drift shots, especially with the foot of the hand. Well, it just go up, and it just drifts around. So, bang. So you want to train it, fine. Now again, I'm going to show you. Go ahead. Real attack, man. Real attack, fake go, fake whatever. Okay? You can um, train it this way. You can train it where the guy, if the guy's moves, don't do it. See, if I'm here, see, why are you in PIA? Look at the distance. It's wrong. This guy stays, stays where he is, man. So, real attack, man. Boom! Real attack. Boom! And then again, whoop, bam! Yeah. This person, you can either just catch it, so as I say, you can catch it, you can work across parity, because you know what's coming, so you can still train just to work across parity. It doesn't make any difference. What I want you to get is, again, the rhythm. One, one and, all right? 